You up and moving today? Okay, nope, not, don't move out the door. <laughs> What's going on? She didn't have a whole lot of fight left in her. Not only did she have the mange, but it was already starting to get infected. Her eyes were closed, so she was not able to find any food. I don't really think that she minded us moving her from one place to another because she felt really, really bad. You're getting clean. We were treating everything from every different direction. There's an eye. There's an eyeball. That fox knew that she was being taken care of. Hey, you. What's going on? She got used to her routine of being cleaned and fed. Someone's feeling a little better. Did you get a ball? Are you playing with your ball? Not yet. How is her today? Look, she looks like a fox. She does. She looks so pretty. Oh, you need to be clean. Okay, I'm going to feed you first. I'm hoping that is not what she thinks of my cooking. <laughs> Look how good her fur looks. Get your chewy. We had this fox a solid two months before the hard, crusty shell of its skin and fur started slopping off. Hey, baby. You wanna come a little closer? Come here, sweetie. Come here, sweetie. She's so pretty now. She was getting a little bit more restless in the indoor cage. It's me. It's me. Okay. I'm gonna pick you up. There you go. Good job. Then she was able to finish healing outside. If I could be in her brain, she's wondering what in the world's going on. Fresh air again. This all felt like, oh, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. We knew she was going to be a good hunter. All her fur had grown back in. All the indicators were being checked off the box to say that she was ready to be released. I opened up that door and maybe five seconds were spent smelling the place and she just took off. I was very proud of our team that we were able to take her from the point where she arrived to the point that she's running free and she gets a second chance at life.